Wagwan everybody, I want to welcome you to my channel. I go by the name of Terra Fashionable. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how I got this look, you know, putting it together, making it work, you know. So here we now, let us jump right into it. And today's video was sponsored by Recool. And this is my first time working with them. And in the packaging, I receive a dust bag with some goodies. And they give away free gifts. So it's a possibility you would be able to get a few of these items. Those are the goodies that I got. This is Lily. She is a 14 inch wavy wave 13 by 4 frontal bob wig with a density of 180 and it also goes up to 250. And the frontal parting space is 4 inches. Also, the lace is a Swiss lace, you know, Swiss lace. The frontal ventilation is very full, so you're gonna have to pluck it. Inside of Lily construction, you have four wig combs two adjustable straps the top one is detachable you can take it off and put it on as you like which i did went ahead and take it off because it was fitting small the top one is more for that secure old and i'm gonna be using one and a half scoops of quick blue powder with a small amount of developer and mix it together to get a pastry consistency like this using a spoon to apply the bleach to the lace and uh, I will be bleaching these areas before I go to the extreme front because the knots are less visible at the front at the back you know the knots are more thicker right there and don't press too much on the lace and let it sit there for 30 minutes or more because you know sometimes the knots are stubborn Washing out the bleach. Then after that, I will be using the Shimmery Light Shampoo. And you know, saturate it so it will be able to cancel all the yellow tone, orange tone, or the brassiness. And I let it sit there for like 20 minutes before washing it out. Then after that, I will be doing the regular washing out here. You know, you use the shampoo and your conditioner. giving Lily a straight run through by pressing her out because I know you want to see your own curling pattern look at her thickness yes the density of one now we're gonna diffuse the airline because you know that thick hairline thing there not gonna work because that's not giving natural so we're gonna go in it and pluck out some ear out of it but please guys don't over pluck you don't want to have bald spots no and this is how we're looking so far you can see the realistic look that it's giving over here so i'm gonna be repeating the same thing over on this side And this is what I took out. I have a more in-depth video on how I do my ball cap method and I will link it down below. Try to fit your wig on your head before installing it. Lay the frontal down using the even ear spray and the blow dryer. Now I'm seeing that I'm having a problem with the frontal and I'm gonna have to cover my hairline. So what I did was I cut the lace like my hairline shape. Then getting rid of the extra lace that is not needed. And you know you're gonna cut that in a zigzag motion. We 
creating my hairline because it's too much on my forehead. Going back in it with a tweezer. We need the front to have that natural look. Parting all my baby hair. Now I'm doing a quick curl up and I don't want my curls to be too tight. What I'm going to be doing to the side that the lace that is showing, I will be using the hair to cover the lace. And that's how you cover the extra lace. Doing a deeper side part. Here we are. Ella is well curled up. And I want to tell you, no oil is involved. And this is how she be looking. If you are interested in Lily, I will link all our information down below. You know, it will be a direct link to her. So anyway, later and I will catch you on the next one. Yeah.